if you want to travel this summer but you're not sure if it's in the budget, our next guest says you can do it. And Lester is a mom and personal finance author and she joins us tonight with some quick tips that anyone can utilize that will help you save on the cost of traveling. And welcome to the program. I'm interested to hear from you, especially in times like these. You say it's important to start planning ahead of time with a travel fund. Talk to us about that. Ideally, you've known that you want to take a trip, or maybe you always have a permanent account going to save for trips, um, and you are putting some money away every month so that when the time comes, you can do what you want to do without worrying about, you know, not being able to pay the bills when you get home. So best if you create a budget and a plan and start working on that as soon as you know you're taking the trip. And you said that there are things that you can start to cut off in the meantime, simple things. Talk to us about that. You know, subscriptions are always a thing that people, most people are spending money on subscriptions they don't know they have. Three out of four Americans has forgotten a subscription in the last year. And I think the average amount people are spending on subscriptions a month is $213. So if you've got uh, an iPhone, look in there and see what you're paying. Look at your credit card bill. If you haven't watched that channel in the last month, cut it off, at least while you're saving. I definitely feel like I fall in that group. Now, you say it's important to also let your loved ones know that you are saving. So how do you do that in a not awkward way? I think, you know, I think it's we all feel so much shame and guilt and should shouldism around money. And I think it's really healthy just to say, hey, guys, I've got this goal. Can you help me reach it? I'm trying to spend less. Maybe we can, you know, do a potluck dinner instead of going to a restaurant. I mean, it's small, simple things that really add up. We well, were talking about how we save ahead of time, but there's also ways to save while you're on vacation. So say we're here now, how do we save while we're enjoying ourselves? So tip number one, there is a ton of free stuff to enjoy anywhere you go in the world. So my son and his girlfriend uh, went to New York. Uh, we live in a, a train ride away from New York. They went into New York yesterday. They walked on the High Line free, went to an exhibit at the New York Public Library, free. When it got hot, they went into a, a used bookstore and spent half an hour looking at books, free. And then they went out for a nice lunch. So they had a great time. The, the price was a train ticket and they were able to have a fabulous day and really not spend any money at all. So I know when I'm on vacation, sometimes you get into a vacation brain where you're like, oh yeah, I can go scuba diving. Yeah, I can pay for this vacation picture. So when you're in that mindset, how do you decide what is worth the splurge and what's not? I think it goes back to really being honest with yourself about what you will remember doing. And that's going to be a different answer for everybody. You know, I have gotten to the point where a fancy dinner out, like been there, done that. I don't need to do it anymore. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want the calories. I don't want to spend the money. So, you know, we tend to look for street food or, you know, really local experiences. Um, I'd stay away from the top 10 lists of must do things um, that, that get you into kind of a social media frenzy, because then you might be doing things so you can tell people you did them and not because you actually want to do them. So that might be something to keep an eye on too. You gave us a lot to think about. And thank you so much for those tips. Thank you. All right, guys, keep it here. We'll be right back.